Welcome to back. Welcome back. Ciao. Hey guys, we'll be doing some American Truck Simulator on the modded profile today. Today we're using the 88 Freightliner FLC. We got a modded trailer. This um, flatbed trailer here. We got a load of pipes on this trailer. Now the trailer can be found on the workshop. There's two versions of this trailer. There's a flatbed version like this and there's a dump skid version like this. The truck was founded over on mod sites. ATS mod size is the, where the truck come from. The truck run, is running a cat engine with an 18 speed eating full transmission. So let's get on the road. So we can get a thumbnail before the uh, weather, before it gets dark on us. So we got 300, uh, 323 miles to go. This truck don't have a GPS, so we're going to have to leave the, uh, that up to date. Here's the inside of this freight liner. Beautiful truck. Beautiful. Now this truck does come with two options for the hoods. It comes with an 83 option and the 88 option like what I'm using here today. Beautiful mod. That trailer looks good too with the piping. Really good looking set up here. road a little bit we'll go ahead and get a thumbnail before it gets dark on us it's kind of getting dark in the game it's about five o'clock in the afternoon so hope everyone's doing well hope you're enjoying the videos i uh, really do appreciate everyone that's been subscribed to the channel if you're new to the channel and you like what you see over here don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel it helps out a lot it helps the channel grow remember to hit the bell down there Go ahead and get a thumbnail. Of oh, this beautiful truck and this trailer. Oh yeah. Looks good. We're up in Colorado right now, guys. We're heading down to Utah. Now, guys, I had to really cut down on my mods in this game to get it to run a little bit smoother. It's running pretty bad, even up here in Colorado. But I cut down a lot of the mods I was using, and uh, it's actually running pretty good right now. Turn the lights on. So the only odd thing I don't really like to like about this truck, guys, is. I mean, it's a beautiful mod, and hopefully the next version of the truck will, will come with more engines. It does have a, a big selection of engines. It only has, like, three to four options of engines, and all of them are cat engines, so, which is okay. I mean, I, I, I understand it is the first version of the truck the guy that made the mod that made it. I mean, so I understand that, but it's, uh, you know, but it, it is a beautiful mod. Well done, truck.
Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you've been enjoying the content we've been putting out over here. Really have been enjoying putting the new stuff out over here. Want to do more. Uh, I really have been intent on doing more things. I'm hoping, you know, LSP party is running pretty good right now, so hopefully it'll stay that way. So we can get more stuff done with that. I've had a lot of um, subscribers for that here and coming in here lately. Hey guys, I mean, this is a highly, very good looking truck. Um, I don't use a wheel. I'm trying to drive with a controller, so sometimes my driving's not the best. But that's okay. Oh, let's let Jake break. I am running my second profile. I do have two profiles for American Truck somewhere. I have a one profile where it's SCS Trucks, where I run SCS Trucks, and then I have a second, second one like this one here where I run Mighty Trucks. A lot more, more mods than I do with the other one. So. Take a little outside view of this setup here. Yeah, it looks beautiful, don't it? Uh, I want to say too that anyone that uses Viper 389 Custom, um, his truck has been updated. I um, mean, has not yet been updated on the workshop, but it has been updated where you can get it on some of the mod sites. As of right now, it has not been updated yet on the workshop. Hopefully for long you will get updated over there. Uh, most of the trucks I did use, or this one is not on the workshop, but most of what I did use for the modded trucks is over there on the workshop. There's a few of them that I, that I do get off of mod sites, um, and this just happened to be one of them. Let's see if this truck gives an option for a GPS. 
don't think it does. Well, something's done happened up here. Car accident. Alright guys, and he listen to this engine. down coming through is sailboat springs steamboat springs also guys I want to mention too that I am using a new real companies mod that uh, straight on that's out there that's where you get some of the real companies that on here like you said the Waffle House there uh, awesome mod. Uh, very well done. Real mod. Really do enjoy it. Um, I do recommend if you do play this game and you want to use this mod, go over to go the SH forum and get it. Go there to their site and get to, get the mod.
don't think I've ever been to this little town. Got a little bit of stutter there. It's a nice little town here. I like this little town here. Little, neat little town. Reminds me of a lot of the little towns around here where I'm from. That's oh, neat. Guys, we're just kind of being quiet, listening to this truck, enjoying the scenery. Keep right, and then continue straight on. Go straight on. Hmm. Nice little area. Look, there's a Tesla dealership, gas station right there. Yeah, it's nice up here. I don't think I've ever been to this part of Colorado yet. the videos I really do uh, appreciate everyone that's been subscribing it, re it really means a lot you know, the people that is trying to help me support the channel by subscribing hitting the button down there Yeah, 
and a little stutter there. I'll have to look at that and see where those stutters are coming from. Maybe one of these traffic mods that I'm using. Another little town. Go straight on. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's definitely a mod cause that. I'll have to look at that and see what the maybe the travel travel mod that I'm using. diner there. Straight on. 
guys, I wanted to say SCS has announced the next update for Microsoft Simulator, which is be 1.0. Uh, 4.0 um, not gonna be a that big of an update they're just gonna add some more viewpoints uh, fix a few little he issues here and there the bigger update will be you know 1.4.1 uh, which is gonna be after that one unsure when that one's going neither one's gonna happen but they have announced the, uh, the next one We may be better off go ahead and stop by here up here and get some fuel. Keep right. Yeah, we'll go ahead and stop right here and get some fuel. Beautiful looking truck. Stop at the Texaco station. Alright, so it, diesel prices was $2.17 a gallon. Uh, total amount, we pumped 127.78 gallons. Total price is $277 for fuel. Let's get back on the road. Pay for our fuel. I'll not hit the sign. Man. Gotta get back on the inside view there. Alright, there's Utah. We're going into Utah, I guess. I'll definitely have to look at that and see why it wasn't doing that. I don't know what that is or where the light is coming from. I'll be taking a look at that for sure. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left.
right where they want him. All right, we can do that. We may have to turn around. We could turn around and back at the end the other way if we had to. We'll get it in there, though. Straighten up a little bit. Let's not hit the steamroller. That's it. Brake on. Engine off. All right, we drove excellent. We drove 322 miles. It took us nine hours and three minutes to get here. We can send 44.2 gallons of fuel. We're gonna see if there's anything here that we can pick up with another load. Need that. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this for this video. I want to get in here and show off this new uh, trailer. Let me pull this trailer up a little bit so y'all can see it while it's in the light. I want to get you know show off this new uh, trailer that did come out of the workshop and plus this Freightliner FLC beautiful truck beautiful trailer a really good good looking combo this trailer and this uh, truck together but uh, thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and have a good day